Good morning, my friends. Uh, 640 on June the 9th at the time of this recording. And uh, this is technically day 9 or day 10. I think it's day 9, really. Since I started using uh, or getting into partner with Mike B., um, the Gold Commission license. And so this is going to be an update. Um, you know, I was going to be doing these every single day as far as updates in this uh, particular program, Partner with Mike B. But um, some days there's just nothing to report. You just do a little work and you wait and, uh, yeah, and you see. And you kind of optimize along the way. So I, I don't want to bore you, but um, I want to give you key updates along the way. This is day nine. Um, I've done some traffic, and I'm in the middle of a big traffic campaign. Uh, video one day five, I believe, is what it was, was when I um, went over um, my test traffic, some traffic I got, 150 clicks, uh, just to test the opt-in, and it worked. It was converting at 40%. But anyway, in this video, um, I'm going to show you a few things that um, I've done since then and that I've updated. So um, I want to go ahead and show you, first of all, if, you, um, if you're not in the Partner with Mike B. Facebook group yet, you need to join. Um, here it is on Facebook. It's uh, a great group. Mike is very active in this group. Some groups that you get in, uh, d the leader doesn't ever interact. And in this guy, um, and in this case, Mike not only interacts, but he encourages. Here he did a call out for me, uh, going the extra mile with Nate Fancher. He did a little video on that, and um, that was very kind of him to do. Um, and then you just see different updates and stuff in the group and live trainings, uh, links to the live training where you can um, be a part of those. And uh, people that are getting stuck, they leave their comments and you can interact with them. But um, anyway, so that's very important. If you haven't joined that group, join the group. So partner with Mike B. Um, and uh, Facebook group, just... Uh, just search partner with Mike B and then uh, ask to join the group and Mike will approve you or someone on his team will approve you. Okay, the next thing I wanted to make sure and tell you about was uh, under the Mike B um, members area, once you, if you, haven't start, if you haven't purchased yet on the very first level, go ahead and do that so you can get the first six steps where he goes over um, just some really important educational things about uh, doing an online business and how to succeed. And uh, not only will you get those six steps, but you'll also get a coach that you can call, uh, get on Skype or get on the phone and ask your questions, tell them your challenges, and they will help you. So um, that's step one is get in on the uh, six steps, partner with Mike B. And um, yeah, so make sure you do that. Join the Facebook group and uh and you'll get started. So even if you don't have a ton of cash right now to invest in this, in the Gold Commission license, you need to at least, at least start in here and get in the community um, and begin learning. So that's uh, order of business number two I wanted to do, and then I wanted to give you guys my update. Okay, hold up. Where are we? So, yeah, here we are, Click Magic. Um, Click Magic again is an amazing uh, tracking link tracking software, and I have a link in, in below this video and at the blog post at the blog, where you can um, check out Click Magic. Um, it is an affiliate link, so please uh, do that link if you're going to be um, getting into Click Magic and uh, learning. So there's a free trial for 14 days, I believe. But um, I've got one. So I've got a few things I wanted to focus on here. So. I um, am using this guy, Solo Ad with Richard Core, great, great Solo Ad provider, and um, I want to view his public stats so I can break this down a little bit easier so you're not getting confused here. So um, this is interesting. So we had some things, we had some hiccups in the beginning. You're seeing a 31% conversion rate here. This stands for action conversion rate, okay? This is basically the opt-in. Click Magic um, is tracking all of the total clicks. That's if someone clicks a few times, uh, it's going to count those. But unique clicks are the people. So these are the peeps right here, 888. And actually, that's not totally accurate. If I go back over here, I have this partner with Mike B opt-in. I was using this link at first, and um, it had 95 or 93 uniques. So um, those were from Richard, but then I had some problems and I changed the tracking link to try to test some things. So these numbers are not 
totally even accurate. And I'm going to show you exactly what the numbers are um, right now. But um, the Click Magic allows you to track everything, and it's just very important to get that. So I've had five uh, conversions on this traffic, and um, I've actually had six conversions total, uh, which would include so one of those, the one that's not tracked in here, was from earlier traffic in an email. And uh, so I think it was from one of my first um, people that I subscribed through a different solo ad provider when I first started um, back in video one. Um, I, I used Jorge was his name, and I'm going to be using him some more. Solo ad provider, great guy. Gave me 150 clicks just to test the opt-in. I think I got one of those. I'm not 100% sure, but that's, I'm pretty sure that's that one. I, I wish I hadn't deleted that. I'm learning. Um, I deleted that that tracking link. I should not have done that. So don't delete your links, your traffic links in Click Magic, unless there's some really good reason why you should, because um, you can just at least archive them over here. You can hit archive link. I deleted it. So anyway, um, here's the thing. I can actually figure out my real numbers, and I've been doing that by simply going to my autoresponder and seeing the number of subscribers I've had in this form right here, partner with Mike B, opt-in, 438 subscribers, 100% conversions, don't pay attention to that number, um, ConvertKit is confused, 438 subscribers, and then I take the number of links or clicks, unique clicks, I know that from Richard so far, 886, going to get a calculator out real quick, so I do a calculator, I go 886 uniques, plus uh, there's a guy that I met on Facebook in the Solo Ads Testimonials group, Billy, who did some uh, free traffic just to kind of show me some stuff right there, plus uh, unique clicks there, 101, um, plus these, these are from Richard here, 93. I've got totals and averages down here, so 1082, um, that's the two there. I'm not going to use that. But I also know that um, Jorge gave me around 150 clicks when I first used him. That's 1,230 clicks so far total as I've been doing this, and I've got 438 subscribers. So what we do is we simply divide 438 by this number. So 438 divided by 1280. 34% percent opt-in rate. So 34% conversions right now. And that's that's lower than we'd like to see. And the reason is this, and this is where you're going to have to listen up because you've got to really uh, make sure and, you know, you got to make sure every part of the funnel is working correctly. See, I'm doing something a little different uh, than some people who get into the system with Mike, you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it, but if you do it the way I'm do it, doing it, you're going to see higher conversions over time. And you'll see that as you watch my videos. But um, I have ClickFunnels thing. I think I showed you that in the last video. But um, ClickFunnels um, is very important to understand a few things, and I made the mistake of, of not knowing this. So I um, basically copied um, a page that I had created, and this is the current one. I've changed it a few times. I've copied the page, and um, and then in the settings of the page, not the actual funnel, there's something that does not get copied that I should have copied. So here's the actual uh, squeeze page. At first, when I did it, it did not copy my integration to my autoresponder, which is ConvertKit. <laughs> so... I quickly got that one, thank God, I quickly got that fixed because no one was even getting into the list. So that's important to understand. When you copy when you copy a page, when you're doing like a split test and you do a duplicate page and it copies all of this all of the settings uh, from your page except for your integrations. And then one more thing, it didn't copy this and I didn't catch this till a little bit later. It doesn't copy the uh, where you're, you know, where you're redirecting once they submit the form. And in this case, it's supposed to be the sales page to Mike B's, uh, you know, funnel. So I fixed that one. And then finally, I was seeing some things work. Okay, I started to get those numbers up because at first it was really low. And um, so that was, that was interesting. Right here, 
if I go if I if I narrow the date range, this is just the Richard's uh, Richard Kors traffic. If I narrow the date range just to yesterday, you'll see it's a much higher conversion rate. So that means it is going up 38%. That's good. We want it to get to 40 if possible. 40 is the goal. But um, and actually his solo ad traffic does convert even higher in a lot of cases from what I've been told. So I'm hoping to see that for, for my stuff. But that was, that was the mistake number one. Um, don't make that mistake. Make sure that when you copy any pages in uh, ClickFunnels that you make sure your, your form is integrated. It's not going to copy those settings. I thought it did. And then also the redirect for the sales page. Make sure it copies. Make sure you go in there and put that in there because it will not copy those settings. It'll copy everything else. It'll copy your form stuff. It'll copy all the settings that you did um, when you created it, but it's not going to copy those integration settings. Okay, that was mistake number one. Mistake number two, well, I don't know if it was a mistake. It was just something I learned. Um, kind of a mistake. I wish I'd fixed it more quickly. I actually had this form was a a two-step opt-in where it was a survey. And in ClickFunnels, it's actually in beta mode right now. And when anything's in beta mode in a sales funnel, that makes me a little bit nervous, especially now having learned this. I just noticed that my conversions were lower and it just, it wasn't, you know, happening like I wanted it to. And so I I began to wonder, okay, what, what can I test? And then um, we took that part out and lo and behold, it worked. And the reason for that, I believe, is that it was in beta, and not all browsers, not all browsers are going to be friendly with the uh, the beta stuff because it's it possibly is buggy, or it, they're just working out some things. And and so, beta means you know just not quite ready yet. They're testing it, and it's just not. They're not going to endorse it as like this thing works really well. Uh, because it's in beta, it's in test mode. Okay, so if anything's in beta in your sales funnel, be very careful because it could affect conversions. Okay, that was that was something I fixed yesterday, and I started to see it go up quite a bit, which you can see here if you look at the date range. Uh, just on the seventh, watch the. Oh, that was a forty percent. When did I fix this? I guess it was maybe on the 7th when I fixed it, yeah. On the 6th, it was quite a bit lower. Yeah, look at this, 27.6%. Pretty low. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys that. Um, so it's going up, as we can tell, 40%, 38% today, um, or yesterday. Let's see what it is today. 43%, nice. So we can see it's going up. I've had a sale as well just today. Okay, that's a 2%. That's what we like to see, a 2% sales conversion rate. Okay, real quick, I uh, wanted to show you one more thing, and, um, and then we'll wrap this up. I created a Excel spreadsheet. It's actually in numbers because I'm a Mac guy, and I think you might find this useful. I'm going to do another video where I go into this a little bit more, but um, it's really helped me to... Um, measure my numbers. And so you'll want to make sure and watch the video where I go in detail over this, okay? Um, but this I do, I just kind of put in current numbers. So um, where were we on the calculator? 34%. So that's kind of overall. I put in my conversion rate here. Um, I spent uh, my ad spend right here. Um, was, I mean, it's basically around $1,600, $1,500 is what I've spent. So uh, anyway, um, and, I've, and I've gotten about 4,000, or I'm going to get, I ordered 4,000 clicks, but if I add in the test clicks, I got it first, plus this guy, Billy, who's been kind enough to give me some free traffic just to test his traffic. It's about 40 250 actually. So um, this is what I can expect on 34%, 1,400 conversions on the opt-in. If I'm doing a sales uh, conversion of 2%, <clears throat> I'm going to see 28. I'll go over all these numbers in the next video uh, or, or the other video where I go over this in detail, but I can basically see exactly what I, I can expect here. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, 
I'll lose a little bit of money on the front end. I'll get close to breaking even, but I'll sell a gold commission license and I will profit right here, 180 bucks. So um, if that doesn't seem like a lot of money to you, then uh, slow down, hold your horses, and I'll explain uh, more how this can be very profitable using this tool. Okay, it's just a simple spreadsheet that I put together, and you can get it for free. Go watch the video, okay? So um, that's it. I wanted to give you that quick update. I'm excited about doing this, and I'm not going to give up. Um, oh, yeah, one more thing just to wrap this up. I do a daily vlog, which really helps. Mike actually pointed that out in the, in the Facebook group. And um, I've put, I'm putting together videos not just about the Mike B. Um, Gold Commission License Program, but also just some thoughts. I do, I'm, doing, I'm doing some stuff in my car. I'm doing some uh, things that I've learned, some, some content marketing type things, uh, and different rants that I'm doing and other things. The best place to start with online business, for example. This is just my YouTube channel, and uh, so far six videos because I'm six days in, and today's video will be added to this. But... Um, it's important that you are connecting with people. And so this is the point of this, is at cashfoo.com, where, where you're uh, interacting with me, I'm just putting out content. And this is great for pre-selling people because you connect with people. So do this, build your audience. I'm, I'm getting subscribers every day so far. 438 subscribers, 438 new people on my email list who have opted in for this business opportunity, partner with Mike B. And... Um, I'm starting from scratch, cashfood.com. I got the domain name. I got an SSL certificate for, for security. And um, I have some sidebar stuff pointing back to the funnel. And I'm sharing my journey with you guys. So um, this kind of stuff goes a very long way. And you're going to see it, for me, pay out over the long haul here. So, all right, guys, um, you got this. Cashfood. Adios.